turns to morning The earth declares your glory You are worthy of our praise Worthy of our praise Holy are you, Lord We lift our eyes, adore In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a Mass of unity. We pray that the Holy Spirit will give us peace and unity in our heart, 
and peace and unity among each other. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. yourself as the way to the Father. Kyrie Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the
Let us pray. O God, to whom every heart lies open, every desire speaks plainly, and from whom no secret is hidden, cleanse, we pray, the thoughts of our heart by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that we may merit to love you perfectly and offer you worthy praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up hearts that are broken, to proclaim liberty to captives, freedom to those in prison, to proclaim a year of favour from the Lord, a day of vengeance for our God, to comfort all those who mourn and to give them for ashes a garland for mourning robe the oil of gladness, for despondency praise. But you, you will be called priests of the Lord. They will call you ministers of our God. I reward them faithfully and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. Bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your name Forever, O oh Lord. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your Forever, O oh Lord. All 
All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. I will bless your name forever, O Lord. I will bless your name forever, O Lord. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your name forever. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. I will bless your name forever, O oh Lord. I will bless your name forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the Spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father. For that is what it pleased you to do. 
Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning his eyes to his disciples, he spoke to them in private. Happy the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. We are most ourselves when we are praising God. That's because we were made to praise him. It's not that God is needy, but there's nothing better for us than praise. Praise is thanking God not for what he does, but who he is. And God is love. When we praise God, we are opening our heart to his love that will never end. To praise God is to learn to love him. To love him is to learn to praise him. You know this already because when we fall in love, we feel as if we can climb to heaven. Therefore, if we find ourselves in church, but with no joy in our heart, praise God anyway. Join in. Let the music and songs take you. The rhythm, the notes, the sound teach us movements of love and reasons to praise. Music is not an invented luxury. It's of the angels. Jesus tells us in Luke's Gospel that there are the learned and the clever, the prophets and kings. But the apostles and the other disciples are none of these. So why has Jesus chosen them? Because they are able to be mere children. When I recall my childhood, I remember games and singing, running and fun. But most of all, I think of discovery and make-believe. Children are open with wonder, and wonder allows us to be open to God. Jesus' disciples are his disciples because they are wondrously open. What are we to do, though, who left school years ago? Filled with joy by the Holy Spirit. This is how St. Luke describes Jesus as he blesses, praises his Father. We do not need to go backwards and relive our days in the playground. We can do something better. We can invite the Holy Spirit into our lives. If we allow him to, and perhaps even if we don't, he will take our souls old with sin and make them young with wonder and joy. My brothers and sisters, by worshipping God at this Mass, we have not taken time out from our everyday lives. It is only here in praising God that we are alive. We stand to proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for us so. 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and to see the Lord out of the earth. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess all baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of the world and the church. We pray for the church, that the church may be a beacon of hope and light, spreading the joy of the gospel through Jesus' example of love, mercy, service and compassion. We pray for Pope Francis, for our priests and bishops, and for all church leaders, that they may be strengthened and guided by the Holy Spirit. And we pray for unity within the church that the body of Christ works together to bring about the church's mission. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the world, that the world would come to know the loving kindness of its creator. We pray for justice to flourish around the globe, that each woman, man and child would have their human dignity and rights respected and upheld. We pray for peace on earth, especially the areas where there is conflict and instability, that peace would reign. And we pray for world leaders, that they too may be guided by the Holy Spirit, act with integrity and make wise decisions for the good of all people and creation. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those in need, for all those in any kind of need, those who are sick, lonely, grieving, homeless, and those in any kind of pain or suffering, that they would know God's closeness and healing touch, be comforted by those around them, and receive the help they need. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for our community, for our families and friends, that they will be surrounded by God's love and protection, and that we will care for each other with kindness and generosity. We pray for this community of people gathered here today, and for all those involved in One Hope Project, that we would continue to grow in the love of Christ and each other as we journey together in life and faith. Lord, in your mercy, we take a moment to offer up our own intentions. And we now join our prayers with Mary as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. God our Father, may we know the unity that you share with the Son and the Holy Spirit. Answer our prayers as you know best, through Christ our Lord.
Your majesty as we draw near to you You draw near to us Emmanuel, God with us Here in our midst for all to see My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the spiritual sacrifice placed on your altar with loving devotion, and give your servants a right spirit, so that their faith may make these gifts pleasing to you and their humility commend them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you bestow gifts suited to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you come unfailingly to her aid, so that with a heart always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, 
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
wash the other's feet A king upon his knee Just before you died In the garden there you cried Oh Father, not my will but yours There at the table You took the wine Raised it and made it divine This is my blood Offered for you My life poured out Once and for all Take it and drink it And when you do It's a memory of me Your body and blood We do believe Your presence so true your body and blood We do believe Your presence so true Here we receive Your body and blood We do believe Your presence so true Here we receive your body and blood We do believe Your presence so true Here we receive Here we receive Let us pray. Lord our God, who have been pleased to nourish us with heavenly food, pour, we pray, the delights of your Spirit into the recesses of our heart, that what we have devoutly received in time we may possess as a gift for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.
The sky went dark that day But three days on You conquered death You rose and rolled the stone